Hey folks, so before we start this really short video for catching red tails on the Oregon coast, let me show you my setup really quick. And I have showed you this many times before. And in case if you guys are new, uh, you just joined my channel, um, you're not sure about how to set up for surf fishing on the Oregon coast, this is how I do it. Okay, so this is my rod. I use braid line for my main line. Um, I use that pretty much about 99-100% of the time. Braid line works really well. It doesn't stretch and you can detect the bites a lot easier and it's just really sensitive and super strong. So that's why I use braid line for surf fishing. For my leader, I always use mono leader because I'm a big believer that the red tails are line shy. So mono for the leader and braid for the main line. The braid I use 15 pound test as well as 15 pound mono for my leader. Now my leader is pretty long. As you can see, there is where my knot is from where my leader knot is to the main line. As you can see, that's the uh, first eye, okay? So being a 10 foot rod, so that's a, you know, that's, that's about a 10 foot leader. So it's pretty long. And I just like the leader long like that, a mono leader, because it just works a lot better for me out there. Okay, so on the business end, I have my dropper loops right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. That is the dropper loop right there. And that is a number four bait holder hook. I use Eagle Claw hooks. Okay, so this high-low rig works really well. And I got two hooks on there. Now, you can use as many hooks as you want, as long as it's legal in your state. All right, so it's about, probably about one foot apart between the two hooks, okay? Just like that, right there. And about 18 to 20 inches below my bottom hook, I have a, <clears throat> excuse me, one ounce weight. And I know you guys like, some of you like to use, you know, two, three, four, even five ounce. Um, I just stick with a one ounce weight because for me it works better. Going back to this knot here, guys, where the leader attaches to the uh, braid line, the main line. That knot is a double uni knot, and you don't have to use a double uni knot. You can also use like the Alberto or the Albright knot, FG knot. It's really up to you. It doesn't matter. The fish don't really care. You can check online which knot works best for tying the mono to the main nine to your braid line. Um, just pick the one that you feel comfortable tying and just go for it. So that's it. Um, yeah, very, very long leader and a number four bait holder hook and a again two two dropper loops here in oregon you can use up to three hooks so you can have three dropper loops on here if you want once again lastly that's a one ounce weight and i use disc sinkers for the weight and for bait to catch surf perch it's really hard to go wrong with these gulp sandworms these are the two inch camel color these work really well surf perch love them you can also get the six inch but if you get a six inch, I would cut them in half. Now these bait work well because they look similar to the sandworms. Is it the sandworms? Yeah, like the live sandworms you found in on the beach and like the pile worms. They look very similar, so that's why they're just so effective. For the rod and reel, for the rod, I'm using a Cabela's Tourney Trail IM8. This is my old tried and true surf fishing rod. I really like it. It's a 10 foot. It's rated up to two ounce. Cast a country mile. You know, this is just a really nice rod. It's discontinued, so you can't buy these anymore. I'll leave a link in the video description to get the Akuma my uh, Celilo nine and a half foot rod, which is just as good as this uh, turning trail, okay? Now for rods, some people like to use heavier sinkers, like a two ounce, three, four, or five. And if you get the Celilo, that's not gonna work because that's too heavy for that rod. So you definitely wanna get a bigger rod, like maybe the Akuma, was it Akuma Rockaway, okay? But I only toss like a one ounce, two ounce at the most. And these lighter salmon rods, I prefer them over the big Akuma Rockaway. For the reel, I use a Pen Battle 2. This is size 4000. I've been using this reel for many, many years now. And after all these years, I got to admit it's kind of overkill for the surf. What I recommend is if you were to get the same reel, I would go down to even a size 2500. It'll hold 15 pound lines more than enough, 15 pound braid. This is a little bit too big, I feel, you know, after using all these years. You know, if I were to start over, I would probably get a smaller reel. Pen Battle 2 is very tough reel, it's very nice, it's durable. Um, I've used it for many, many years in the surf. You know, I've caught a lot of red tails with it. And I feel it's definitely one of the best reel out there 
for catching red tails. I've had no issues with it. The important thing with this reel is when you're done surf fishing, you gotta make sure you rinse it really well. Don't spray it hard with water, just kinda like a light mist with a garden hose will work. All right guys, so that's the gear and rig. Let's uh, check out this short video. Do you have a fish on? I think I do. Oh my goodness, that was such a subtle bite. This could be my first red tail of, two, of 2020. <laughs> That's how, it is May, May 15th right now. No, May 16th, 2020. And if I can land this red tail, he will be my very first one of this year. That's how long it's been. This, it's been a crazy, crazy year. No, it's a silver. Oh my goodness. So my first perch is a silver. Pretty good size for a silver, but that's not what we're looking for. They need to be at least three times that size. All right, buddy. Go back and grow big. There you go. Well, that was awesome. First surf perch in, uh, in ages. Let's see if we can get some more. These are pretty delicious fish. No, they're really awesome. I usually air fry them. Okay, here we go. It takes me about 15 minutes to tie my leader. Thanks for the tie it up there, because that's the only reason I do it up there now. Because I fish on my way back, and if it happens, I don't have to re -bait. Okay. That's a big one. All right, you. There we go. First cast in a new spot. Come on, baby. Give me a fish. It's been so long. Oh, fish on! <laughs> yeah! That's what it feels like. Better late than never. Jay said one last cast. We were walking back to the truck. He said one last cast. And he was right. It's that last cast, man, that really counts. He caught five in my sixth cast. This is my, this is my first cast. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Come to Pappy. I haven't had this in... Oh, yes. Nice hook sack. Yeah, that's a good one. Right there, boys and girls. Back on the board. Is that in the fish war? Yeah. <laughs> I saw that seal. Do you mind if I use your strap, your GoPro strap? Mine broke. Oh, no. How does this thing go? Oh, hey, sorry. Here's the, here's the, uh, the, uh, the, the pad part goes on your left. There you go, like that. Yeah, yeah. So like this? Just, yeah, yep. So, and and then, just, then? And then underneath your armpit. Yeah, there you go. That's okay. exactly it. There you go. You just need two more. Dude, you're wasting two time. More. I know. <laughs> okay, here we go, folks. <laughs> My first fish in a very long time. First red tail of 2020. There we go. Thank you, Jay, for showing me this awesome spot right by the seal. No problem. Okay, we're going to measure him and see how long he is. He is 12 inches. Not bad. What do I got? Did I get a fish or not? What did I? Yeah, that's a fish. <laughs> Whoa, yes. Another one. Nice. Hey, they're getting bigger. This one, he wanted the sandworm. There we go. What is this, number three? Not too bad size, I think, but you know. I haven't had fish in a long time, so I'm gonna keep this puppy. Yeah, we'll keep him. All right, buddy, there we go, number three. Oh, yeah, here we go, fish on. Fish on number two. We are at 30 minutes till high tide. Is he still on? 
Is he still on or not? It doesn't feel like it. Okay, yeah, he's still on. What did he take? He took the sandworm. That is a, uh, oh my goodness. Really? There he goes. Another silver. So that silver one, the sand, sandworm. I'm guessing he couldn't, he couldn't fit the, uh, the mole crab, the sand crab in his mouth. That's why he took the sandworm. Okay, toss it back out there. Looks like they're starting to bite as high tide approaches. So that's good. Oh my goodness, really? Wow, this is definitely one of the smallest red tail I ever caught, little baby. Okay, buddy, go big. Got one. Fish on, guys. Fish on. Oh, wait. Did he come off? Shoot, he came off. Oh, no. It's still on there. Caught this guy while digging for sandworms. Sorry, mole crabs. He's a very tiny one. Just like the first one. Oh, he took the uh, mole crab. There we go. He took the mole crab, guys. So that's what they're after. They want the sand crab. He's a little guy though, but we're gonna let him go. See, that's what I caught him on. And I've been fishing the sand worms all day. One tiny uh, silver, but this guy took the, the sand crab. So. Okay, there you go, buddy. Okay, folks, so that was about it. Today was definitely one of my slower days, but it's not bad. Um, I really enjoy getting out here. And uh, considering this is my first uh, red tail trip of 2020, I consider it a success. We got about, how many did we get? About eight. About eight, eight. okay. And I caught three. Yeah. I caught three, he caught the rest. <laughs> so we're gonna get on out of here. We're gonna clean up these fish a little bit. Um, and then head on home. Now, if you're just starting out surf fishing here on the, whether the Oregon coast, California coast, or Washington coast, you do need a fishing license. And you can find these guys pretty much on any beach in the Pacific Northwest. They are good year round for the bait. That's it right there. Dropper loop, two dropper loop, uh, number four bait holder hook, and gold sandworms, camel color, two inch. That's about it, no secret. And I got a one ounce weight. All right, so let's go clean up these fish and get on out here. All right, folks, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Tie line.